this quick overview video, I'm going to walk you through the entire platform. So this platform is an amazing platform for your social media marketing and automation. Okay, so let's just quickly go ahead in this demo. So this is the first step. If you go here, you will see the steps to get started. And the first step is to create your brand. So you go here and then you will see you have the option to add a new brand. You can go here, give it your brand name, select a time zone in which you are living right now and click on add brand. Once you do that, you will see your brands like this. After that, you have to select your brand in which you want to work. Okay, so you can select that brand as a default brand. So right now I've selected this one as a default brand. So the first step is done. After you connect your brand, you have to go to the connect tab and see different types of connections here. So in the RSS feeds tab, you can connect your RSS feeds in the social media connect tab, which is here. You can connect all your different social medias, which are right here. Facebook pages, groups, Instagram, GMB, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. So once you connect all of that, from this option add and manage you can go into the ecom tab from here ecom tab and you can connect all your shopify woocommerce etsy and magento stores now if you don't have these don't worry you can simply go to social media connect and finish all the integrations there and you you are able to use the composer feature from here okay so it doesn't matter if you have the ecom stores video connection blog connects are there or not okay so similarly in the video connect, we have different features. Uh, you can connect your YouTube channels. You can bring your videos from YouTube, Vimeo, Motvio, and Dailymotion is coming soon. After that, we also have provided you the ability to connect your blogs, which are from Blogger, WordPress, Medium, Reddit, Tumblr. So as you can see here in the connections tab, we have provided you 21 different social media and uh, other platforms where you can source the content from and put it on your social media okay so this is basically a destination channel and while the rest of one two three and four these are the source channel so source channels are those where you need to fetch your content from so you can connect all your content sources at one place and for one time after that you can fetch all the content from your sources once you have your contents from the sources you can publish schedule create and you know draft the channels uh, the contents from your connected sources to the social media channels okay now the next step is the discover tab okay so if you go here in the source dashboard you can search any keyword right here which will give you the articles related to that keyword so if you belong to a yoga industry you can search yoga here if you belong to crypto industry you can go here and you can search for crypto also, we provided you the 70 built in categories according to the different kinds of sites and sources. So in this section, in the discovery menu, you have 11,000 sites. Okay. Our viral dashboard technology is very advanced and it is automatically scrapping and adding articles from these 11,000 sites regularly and freshly updated every single day for you. So right now in the viral dashboard database, we have over 100,000 freshly composed articles. If you go inside and subscribe to any of the category, uh, you can subscribe the feeds and whatever the feeds you subscribe, you will see all the feed subscriptions here. Okay. So let's suppose if you belong to finance industry and you subscribe to five or seven sites in the finance industry, all those subscribe sites and their freshly composed articles will be available right here in the feed subscription section. Okay. So you can click on any feed site and then the articles from that category will load. You can bookmark those articles and then you can also compose those articles directly, directly to your social media. Okay. And if you have already connected different sources like your WordPress blog, Shopify blogs and other things, then in the RSS feed, RSS blogs or your sources, you will see all those different sources which you have connected. Okay. So that's how the content discovery section will work. After that, you can go on the compose section or create section. And this is our main area where all the magic happens. So it is very sophisticated. It is very powerful. As you can see here, it is uh, composed of four steps. So first step is you need to compose your post, which means you will write all the contents here. So for now, I'm going to just copy this text for the demo. 
and paste it here and it will count all the characters you can also shorten the link so for example if you insert any link inside and you click on shorten the link will automatically get short listed and this is the hashtags menu so if you want to use the hashtags according to the brands that you have created earlier or you need to freshly create the hashtags for your particular brand you can do that from here so you can select the saved hashtags or you can create new ones and you can use those inside your composer area now since this is a composer area that means you might be having multimedia sets like if you have images or if you want to use videos or if you don't have the content you can use our 100,000 codes library built in inside uh, this composer area so you can select different types of categories from here like you can select anything and then the contents will change accordingly or you can select also the different author names okay so you can see here there are so many different author names you can select any of your favorite author and just select on this part and the content will automatically get pulled now uh, if you want to add images from your own computer you can upload images if you want to upload the videos you can do that from here if you don't have those sources you can also use the image library which i will going to explain later in this next tab and if you want to use the royalty free images and videos you can always go to the images tab search for your favorite videos and then just select and this uh, particular image will get selected if you want to use the video you can use the video and the video link will be inserted into this composer area of course you can also use the gifs and memes and quotes okay so this is the first step and we provide you so many different multimedia options and resources to create the best possible content for this brand so that you can create a lot of engagement on your social media after this is done you can click on the next step and in this next step you will see whatever the accounts you have connected in this particular brand these social media accounts will show here for you so for instance i have only connected one facebook page into this brand therefore this facebook page is shown here and i will select this page so once you select this page you will see this tick mark in this ribbon and once this is selected you can select on the next step so this is the customized step and you need to click on the facebook tab to see uh, how your post will look like this is the preview area and this is your composer now this step is very important because here you will <coughs> sorry so in this step uh, you will see that here you will be able to modify the content according to the specific social media okay so next step you have the publish option which is uh, you can publish this post right now or you can schedule this post at a later date and time and then you can also save this post as a draft so that you can maybe edit this post later and uh, make it you know more better now you can go back to the main menu so this composer section is also located here and you can also go to the composer section from the create menu okay the next step is image library so let's suppose you want to create some nice image with some text so you can search here the images and after that you have this button click to customize or you can simply compose a new post from any of the image right here and this will take you to the composer area so that's how you are going to use this image library to write the images uh, to, to write the text on the images and then save these images to your image library so that you can use them for later use okay so once you have created the post once you have the post in your draft or in your publish or in your schedule status you can go here in the post manager and there you go you have all your post that will be shown here okay so like for december 28 i created these posts so out of that two are in the draft area and one of them is published on my dropshipply facebook page and in my favorite uh, dropshipply private member scope and you can filter all your posts from by different brands you can select your post by different status and your media types okay like from the different channels so post manager will allow you to you know uh, filter out all the content that you are publishing according to the different brands so that you can take the complete control out of it and also you have some several different actions here to view the post then you can re-edit this post again reuse this post again and you can delete this post 
okay so that's how the post manager will work now coming to the source manager source manager is similar to the post manager except one difference post manager is all about social medias and the source manager is all about the different types of connections that you can create inside rss feeds ecom connect video connect and blog connect okay so source manager will not show anything from social media connect similarly post manager will not show anything except social media connect okay now coming back to the next part which is automation so this is very powerful option automation okay sorry i forgot one more tab which is hashtags so you can create different types of hashtags according to the brand so let's suppose you want you are creating a viral campaign for your social media brand and then in that case you have to create these those viral hashtags again and again so we saved this work for you you can simply go here inside the viral dashboard evolution platform and you can simply create the tags according to the brand and once you create the tags according to the brand you can select those tags again and again as many times as you want while you are creating the content for that particular brand okay so that's how you use the hashtags you can click and create as many hashtags as you want okay so now coming back to the automation part so this is really very powerful because this allows you to automate the post on your behalf so right now if you see here uh, all these things are selected which means you have different kinds of automation triggers so what automation trigger do is let's suppose you are owning a blog on medium.com which has like 10 20 30 different posts and now you are publishing one post every week so what you can do here is you can create an automation trigger in this section from your medium channel and you can select your social media channels and as soon as you publish a new post on medium.com the system will automatically fetch the medium post automatically and publish it to your selected social network channel so that means you can automatically syndicate and trigger new posts from these channels into your social media everything on autopilot so that's how this automation part works so you need to select what apps you want to automate and once you select these apps you will see the triggers uh, connected to related to these apps in the area below right so as soon as you do that you have the option to connect so in this tab you can give this trigger a name select your accounts and pages where you want this trigger to publish and on the next step you will be able to select uh, the medium blog which you have already connected from the connect tab okay so that's how the automation will work and whatever the automations you create these will be managed by manage automations page okay now the next step is social deck which has four tabs in this social deck facebook insights instagram twitter and linkedin you will see that whatever the contents you have on your facebook pages you can simply go here and let's change the brand so i will go into this brand now in this brand i have many pages connected i will go and read the facebook insights of this page and you can see that all my pages posts are shown here so that means i don't have to go to my different pages on social media on facebook i can simply see all my content right here and i don't need to you know go to the different page urls and search inside the facebook bar i can simply choose any of the page and i will see all the contents from that page automatically right here loaded okay so that's how guys this is very powerful and it automatically pulls out all the content from different pages right inside the viral dashboard platform and similarly as i show you the option of facebook insights it will show you the contents from your instagram pages twitter profiles and linkedin okay so that's how the deck will work so for the sake of the length of the demo i'm going to skip this part social deck so that we can move on to the next one now if you want to monitor your stats so imagine if you own several different facebook pages several different instagram accounts twitter accounts linkedin accounts google my business accounts it's really hell of a job to maintain and see all your analytics therefore we have decided to give you this option right here inside so that you can you know uh, read and see all your contents right here so let me refresh just this page for you 
So if you see here on this page, I have selected this brand and now I'm going to select one of my pages. So I selected the pages that I have connected in this brand and now my Facebook engagement and insights data is loaded here and I can also select the date filter 7 days and 30 days and I can see all my reach engagement you, I can see my audience growth it will be depicted in this nice graphs I can see all my likes my organic likes and then my audience engagement my active fans which are available on different days my audience demographics like where is my audience located and then my post performance post performances and hashtags so guys this is super powerful and you can simply go to any other page to quickly load all the contents related to that page so that means you get the complete monitoring of all the different social media analytics right inside the viral dashboard evolution platform imagine how much power we are giving you in terms of seeing your data monitoring your data and seeing how your channels how your profiles how your business how your brands are growing so this is a really really powerful tool where you can use this tool to completely automate all your social media business okay and grow your brand now coming on to the next part which is agency so if you guys have taken the agency plan you will be able to you will be able to create the clients okay so if you want to be our reseller and if you like this tool you want to resell the viral dashboard evolution platform and also make money at the same time we give you plenty of options to do that so if you bought the agency plan you will see a similar tab like this where you can create your client and we give you the power to create the client with three types of access so viral dashboard main which is the main plan so if you want to create a client with just the main plan you can select the you can enter his name email and then just let it this this point be selected and create the client so this will give you options after that if you want to uh, somehow create a different user that you want to give more than one plan so you can also take this plan okay so in this case your new user will get these two plans and if you select the three plans that means that your new user will get all the three plans so that's how the agency plan will work so the users will receive automatically emails from you and you can manage and control your clients you can switch to their accounts to see how kinds what kind of brands and contents they are posting you can even help them by logging in into their account and providing them services directly right from here okay so if i click on the switch account i will leave this uh, this user session and I will enter into uh, this account session that means I can manage all my clients right here and if some client is not paying you or if some client is spamming okay so you can also suspend his client suspend your client and you can even delete the client okay so that's how the agency will work now coming to the next part which is inbox so inbox is super powerful because these days uh, you have multiple Facebook pages, you have multiple brands, you have multiple Instagram accounts and nobody has the time to, you know, switch the accounts again and again. Even if you install the Instagram business app, so it can only show you one account at a time. And if you have more than one account and you want to manage your inboxing inside, that means it's a hell of a job. Therefore, in that case, what you can do is you can simply go to the social inbox tab and whatever the Facebook comments are there on your post and whatever the Instagram comments are there on your Instagram page they will all be shown here okay so let me just refresh this page for you so as you can see here I switched the brand from Motview to Webliska Technologies and now this should show me this should show me the pages that are connected here inside the Facebook comments tab. So see this, so I have the viral dashboard post and now this post is loaded right here and I can see how many likes are there. I can even comment right from here on this post and I don't need to go to my page. Similarly, all my pages and all my posts will be shown here and I can simply reply and comment to any of the page so this really provides me nice ways to communicate with my platform users especially when i'm managing multiple facebook pages and multiple facebook uh, accounts and multiple instagram business accounts 
so guys this is really a very very powerful and complete platform and i hope you like this demo so let me know what do you think and i will see you on the